You know that your own family doesn't support, many members of your own family don't support your position on vaccines. Your brother, your sister, and your niece have all written an editorial saying on vaccines, Bobby is wrong. His work on vaccines is having heartbreaking consequences. What's your response? Your own family thinks you're wrong on this. Does your family agree with everything that you said? Definitely not. <laughs> you got me on that one. You just mentioned seven children, yeah. and and I'm and I'm wondering as we sit here and you're doing this interview, you're doing interviews, you're doing rallies, and and you're running. The candidacy that you're running has cost you a lot personally. It has cost you um, siblings, family members have spoken out against what you're doing. They are angry, they're upset, they're hurt. Uh, your sister Rory was on our show recently, and she spoke about it. JFK's grandson also posted on social media overnight something. I don't know if you saw it. I wanted to play both of them. I feel strongly that this is the most important election of our lifetime. And I do worry that Bobby just taking some percentage of votes from Biden could shift the election and lead to Trump's election. He's trading in on Camelot, celebrity, conspiracy theories, and conflict for personal gain and fame. I've listened to him. I know him. I have no idea why anyone thinks he should be president. What I do know is his candidacy is an embarrassment. That's your family. That's your family. Yeah, I have a big family. There's about 105 cousins on the last time we came. Roy's your sister. Yeah, and I have siblings who are supporting me. I have, uh, I have, uh, I have cousins and nephews and nieces who are working my campaign. My campaign is being run by my daughter-in-law. My, you know, by our the political party that we started is chaired by my cousin Anthony Shriver. But listen, I have a big family. I don't know anybody in America who's got a family who agrees with them on everything. I don't know if that's your situation, Aaron. If you just have a family who believes everything you do is you know, like unicorns and rainbows, but. Um, for, you know, I would. I come from a family, from a milieu, where we came home at night and ate dinner with my father, and he would uh, orchestrate debates between us, and we would, in the same way that his father did with him, and we could disagree on issues, and and we could disagree with passion and information, but we still love each other. And I love Rory. I love my family. I feel loved by them. Listen, I understand why they don't like me running. I understand President Biden has been a 40-year friend to me and my family. He is a bust of my father behind him on the Oval Office. Yes, he talks about, about how my father inspired him to enter politics. There's five members of my family who work for the Biden administration. So, you know, I understand why they're dismayed that I'm running against them. They're also worried that, you know, what my sister said, that, you know, my candidacy may get Trump elected. Just bring it to this, Kerry Kennedy, Rory Kennedy, Joe Kennedy on Monday denounced you in a statement saying Bobby might share the name of our father, but he does not share the same values, vision, or judgment. That's got to hurt. Well, you know what? I love my family. Um, every family has disputes. I've got a lot of family members who are supporting me. There's a lot of members of my family who are working for the Biden administration, and, and you know, they have their own opinions about issues. Mm -hmm. I believe, let me say this, that all of the issues that my father believed in and my uncle believed in, if you went down and checked the box, that I would check every box. So I believe that I'm very much aligned with those things. I, I'm aligned with the Democratic Party that stood for the working class, that was skeptical of the military industrial complex, that was skeptical about corporate control of the government, that was against censorship. Uh, you know, violently against, fiercely, let's say, against censorship. Uh, and that did not, was against using fear as a governing tool. Uh, Franklin Roosevelt said to us, 
the only thing to fear is fear itself. I don't know anybody in the Democratic Party who's saying, I'm voting for President Biden because I think he can govern the country well. They are all say, I'm voting for President Biden because I don't want Trump to be president because he's dangerous. And that is, again, it's the impulse to govern by fear rather than, you know, inspiring. Right. Uh, let me just say one quick thing. There's a poll that recently came out that showed that in 2013, 85% of American kids between 18 and 35 said they were proud of the United States of America. The same poll taken three weeks ago said that only 17% are. So we are, this politics of vitriol is just, you know, we have completely betrayed that generation of American kids. We need to give, give them something to hope for. Right. Not telling them vote for Biden because, you know, we're scared. So rather vote for somebody whose vision that you believe in that gives you hope for our country. Sure. What Thank was your you. reaction to your family? The picture was released of all of them at the White House, and they're supporting Joe <laughs> Biden and not you. Your cousin said he, you were an embarrassment. I saw on another channel they made you watch that clip and get your reaction. But And then your sister's not supporting you. I guess no one in the family is because... Oh, no, I, there's a lot of family members How who does that make you feel? Me. Why aren't they supporting you? Well, there are a lot of family members who aren't supporting okay. me. My campaign is being managed by Amaryllis Kennedy. My cousin uh, Anthony Shriver is on the uh, on the is a chair of my political party. My niece Carolina Shriver is running our uh, student out. We have a big family, okay. 105 of us, yeah. and a lot of them are supporting. And I don't begrudge people who don't support me. We have a, my family has a long, long relationship with Joe Biden, 40 years. I have a personal friendship with him. He has my father's buzz behind him in the Oval Office. Oval Office. There's five members of my family that work in the administration, and a lot of them don't agree with me on issues like the war. You know, they uh, war in Ukraine. They don't issue. They don't agree with me on censorship. They don't agree with me on the border. So, you know, I come from a family that where we were, where every night at the dinner table we were encouraged to debate each other and to debate with passion, informative debates, but also to love each other. And I, you know, I yeah, wish you we had... Yeah, you went on And he's yeah, a Yeah, exactly. All right, good. All right. Sounds like a regular family, right? <laughs> Not everybody's always on this. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for joining. Uh, thank, thank you, you so much you're for always welcome. Me. You mentioned your uncle. You were obviously referring to President John Kennedy. Oh, you, of course, your dad. I tried to run for president, was, was cruelly cut down in the middle of all of that. But what do you think your dad would say of you and your, 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 your Uncle Jack would say of you running away from the party that, for, for which they were iconic symbols? Yeah, I mean, my father and uncle, my father specifically, said on many occasions, including, you know, directly to me, I don't vote for the candidate, I don't vote for the party, I vote for the individual. They understood the dangers that George Washington had warned about of partisan politics, that partisan self-interest would, would subsume and replace and displace patriotism and patriotic impulses. But do you think your dad uh, ever knew, down, but do you think you your know, dad ever knew that you would be leaving the Democratic Party. I mean, you're an iconic family. I don't think my father. I don't think my father. I don't think my father would care about that. In that party loyalty was irrelevant to him. Well, that's not what some if of your you family members said. If you went down the said. issues, if right, if you went down the issues that my father believed in, that he felt strongly about, I would check every one of those boxes. The same with President Kennedy. Show me an issue that they felt strongly about that I don't agree with them on. So I, right. I feel like I am representing the, the values of the Democratic Party and maybe okay. the party has slipped away from its traditional values.